you a full-time job seeker? Are you and your employer stuck in an abusive relationship? Or are you just an adventurous soul like I am? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then this is your show. On Budding Entrepreneur, we learn with and from people that have taken an adventurous leap to find their treasure. Join me, Amanda Moniki, as we make business our business. Now, not far from the word business is the word busy. Catherine Wikali's is a story of a young lady that has made keeping the world's busiest creatures her business. Now, let's travel all the way to Makweni County and see for ourselves. After close to three hours on the road, we arrive in their village, Makueni County. Be ready to walk. We meet our host at a facility which is the strongest indication that despite the water scarcity that has defined the region for years, residents haven't given up on farming yet. Apart from supplying to the schools, we also make on a, on a small scale well, even as the members of this group anticipate a full house when many more community members eventually come on board, crop farming isn't quite their forte. Beekeeping is. Chenye nataka ku sisitiza ni kwamba asali yetu it has to be the best. Asali le mzuri kabisa in the world eh? and and for it to be the best honey what we need to do usifanye chochote nyuki amefanya kazi yote hiyo asali ukiitwa kwa mzinga venye iko ikuje hapa hakuna kuchemsha asali hakuna kuongeza askari hakuna kuongeza maji and that way sasa hii village yetu tutajulikana kila mahali kama vile yenye natoa asali ile mzuri kabisa as you can see this area, the, there are a lot of acacia trees. It's very serene, it's clean and peaceful, just what the bees love. So, and one of my key concerns about this area is uh, charcoal burning. Uh, the acacia trees produces one of the best charcoal in the market. So, that also coincides with my project. And that's why I'm really pushing for beekeeping. I want to sell the idea of economic value to the villager on the beehives. And the beehives are suspended on what? All our beehives are suspended on acacia trees. So then if we have uh, beehives on all these trees here, nobody will cut the tree. Because they are making money and they are, they are beehives. So the trees are busy hosting the hives. Um, the second thing is that acacia honey is the best, one of the best honeys in the world. So again, it also plays, the tree plays a multi-purpose for the acacia honey because the, the bees actually foliage on the acacia flowers. For us, the bee is the refiner of the honey. So no need to refine this honey. The bee has done the job for us. Our job is just to basically pack the honey. While beekeeping is, to the general membership of this community, just an economic activity handed down from generation to generation, Catherine sees and handles it as a business. I'm uh, the founding uh, partner of uh, Proactive Merit, which is a, an agribusiness that uh, runs with the brand Nature in a Park. Yes, Proactive Merit operates and thrives within this area of Makueni County, Makindo. Um, so last year, uh, I was called by UN Women and ACTIL. ACTIL is a training organization based in uh, at the Kenyatta University. So I was called to, uh, to get trained. We went through a one-week session uh, for women in agribusiness. And so we were just taken through the various dynamics and key performance indicators for 
um, thriving business businesses and uh, that is where it got me i'd actually lost hope in agriculture I'd, I'd gone through so much so that's how i got into a mentorship program immediately after the workshop and uh, so we just came here and tried to figure out what is the major resource that can have an impact on both my family and the community at large in May I decided to buy beehives, so I've just been stocking up uh, bit by bit, buying three, four beehives every month. So I plan to, I see myself having about a hundred beehives by mid of next year. The main, the main investment on beekeeping is definitely the beehive. So my hive one unit costs 5,000 shillings, which I buy locally. They are locally done. Uh, I have a total of 20 hives. So, so far since June, I've spent 100,000. Um, the honey jars would cost about 15 shillings per unit. Labeling will cost me about five shillings. So, and then there's the transport aspect, which is not much. The major investment is uh, the hives. When she started off four years ago, this wasn't her first shot at business. Four years ago, I got introduced to this business of summer flowers. Summer flowers are flowers that grow out in the open, like the sunflower. So I was doing these flowers called uh, Moby Dick and Amaranthas. They go, they sell as fillers on bouquets and potted plants. Um, so the person who introduced me to this, uh, initially we were buying from farmers in central, in the central region. So we decided to ex experiment the same flower um, in this region and it actually did very well. So that led us to seeking markets in the Netherlands and uh, so we kicked off with Moby Dick and we got very good quality but two years ago uh, prices just crashed uh, the euro crisis uh, hit us really bad um, to the point of actually just we had to close the project she says that one of the lessons she's learned is that business terrain is rough and bumpy and meant only for those who can always rise again when they fall. In the four years, she has built a brand with each product under it positioned as the next big thing. My vision for this honey, uh, Nature in a Park honey, is to basically position it as um, acacia honey and, and with help from scientists, uh, we'll be able to, to bring out that unique factor that comes from acacia honey. Because even the taste is very different. You, you feel it's very flavorful. So I believe there's something else that comes, comes with that acacia honey, some extra benefit that would not come from honey from somewhere else. Then now we have another, I have another product that I came up with, which is a uh, mask scrub, scrub mask. The neem scrub mask, which is a neem tree, leaves and uh, fruits sun dried and mixed with the uh, honey so i mix it with honey propolis and uh, the royal jelly very good for the skin simply so this this is how it works just pour a drop mix it up so into a very smooth paste then apply it on your face like this. Circular motions and it sticks on your face. So let it sit for a few, maybe half an hour and then rinse it off. Since producing is one thing and getting market for products another thing altogether, Catherine has been burning the candle at both ends. My friends have been doing the trials and recommending the product then I moved to to a Facebook page. Uh, Facebook page is called Let's Go Natural. 
please like <laughs> and uh, Facebook has also been a platform that has got me quite a number of uh, inquiries and I also make talks I go I go to meetings uh, I do rotary meetings I make presentations and uh, people actually buy the honey from there so mostly I have thrived from personal referrals even as a sole proprietor her success is partly a product of the people around her friends have been buying the honey they've been using uh, they've been evangelists for the brand uh, I have been consulting free of charge I have friends who, who are quite uh, seasoned business people have been getting some very free mentorship and consultations and uh, from family again uh, family has hosted this land within which my beehives thrive it's a beautiful land and it works very well for us my mother who lives here also supervises uh, activities she guards over the hives just to ensure nobody tampers with them to her community she is an investment that is beginning to pay returns wakati tumeungana sasa tumeanza kuuza pamoja nimeona kuna faida kwa sababu ukichukua tuseme asali yako upeleke pale kwa soko bro unapatana huko na na brokers wanakufinya sana wananunua saa zingine unaenda hapo unapata wananunua kilo moja na hamsini na kwa sababu una mahali pa kupeleka inabidi uuze lakini sasa wakati tumeanza kushikana na na mwekali na, na iki kikundi Unajua sasa kwa sababu tuna wakati hata kabla auja aujafuna unajua utauza kilo uta, utauza kwa pesa ngapi kwa kilo. Kwa hivyo ni, sasa ni kama tunaona kuna matumaini makubwa sana. Now for social impact. Uh, we we are now incorporating members of the rural community to come in and do their hives. Uh, the idea for my business is we uh, they sell the hi the hives to the honey to me and I'll be able to give them very competitive rates actually 50% higher than the market rates the market is actually 20 kilometers from here a lot of them walk or ride their bikes to the market and when you go to the market you basically get a very rudimentary price for it. You get about 200 shillings per kilo. They'll bring it here and I'll, I'll offer as much as 400 kilos just here locally. Given another chance to choose between different business ideas, she would still travel the same sweet journey to the beehive. We realize as a community, it's, it's a forte. Everybody knows about beekeeping. We produce, Makweni produces one of the best honeys in Kenya. Um, so that was our main idea. And then again for transporting, transport is a major factor. Um, you, you have to find something that will not, how do you access the markets and access these markets in an economical manner? How does it save you the coins? So, uh, honey is very easy to transport. Uh, once in a while when, uh, I need honey in Nairobi and I cannot access this place. They just put the honey in the matatus and I receive it at uh, Machako's country bus. She warns though that what's sweet to her tongue might turn out to be bitter or sour to someone else's tongue. My advice to anybody, a budding entrepreneur, you just do your thing. Forget about uh, going online and seeing uh, tomato farming is thriving and you think it will work for you people people's circumstances and strengths are very different just look for that one thing that you have a passion for and just work with it in a spectacular manner and for as long as you have passion passion leads the manufacturer the money will follow you because you'll be able to, if it's value addition, you'll be able to think outside the box and you'll be able to enthuse that market to come and purchase from you. So just follow your passion, forget about copy paste, do your thing 
if it's honey, do your honey. Find a way of making your honey different from everybody's honey in the market. Find out and just do it. Focus on it and do it repeatedly. Don't give up. That story leaves me with a sweet taste in my mouth. However, let's not forget that Catherine Ricali still has a few more challenges to face, even as she seems to be doing fine. Join us when we return as she spends time with an expert who will guide her through her challenges. Welcome back to the show. Many successful entrepreneurs agree that sound advice dots the path to success. And there is no greater time for this than at the beginning of a new business venture. Let's see what assistance Catherine receives from the beekeeping expert. So I have uh, set up 20 hives. Yeah. Uh, how are they doing? But six hives are colonized. Yes. Uh, only a few that have not yet been colonized. Actually, by the time we are modeling the hives, uh, is because they could not be colonized, all of them, because now colonization depends on the time of the year. Uh -huh. uh, and the time when we had put up our hives, yeah. it was during the quad season. Uh -huh. So by that time, no direct expect men hives to get colonized. But at a time when it's now sun like this, yeah. and we are approaching the rains, now this is when you get the high rate of colonization. So, Expect them to colonize as soon as possible. When is the best time for us to to stock up on hives? Actually, now is the best time. At time like this in this area, uh -huh. at time like this, it's the best time to start to put up your hives, because now bees have started swarming down this place. Uh -huh. So when you mount up your hives at time like this, 